We'll start with Stut Joe, Stuttering John. Uh, this fucking guy is giving nothing. The only time he is entertaining at all is when Who Are These Podcasts plays clips of his show to point out how incredibly stupid he is, how incredibly untalented and unfunny, how hypocritical he is, nasty, belligerent, jealous, uh, and, and projects what he knows he is to other people. He tries to do that projection thing. Uh, he's terrible. There is not an ounce of entertainment in his show unless it's being dissected by who are these podcasts. And he loves to say uh, what an amazing personality he is. Although he's got to bring up shit from 30 years ago to tell how awesome he was. Sometimes even, even longer ago. I remember a show where he was telling uh, his fans how his elementary school drama teacher praised him for a party did in an elementary school play. Could you imagine? Could you fucking imagine having to delve back into your elementary school uh, drama production and go, my teacher told, told me I was like Shakespeare. I'm Lawrence Olivia. Lawrence Olivia. Lawrence is liver. He fucking... Because anything he's doing now is is just abominable. It's and and the, the the worst part is it's just boring. It's boring. So every so often he's got to go off, you know, make some drama about some of the uh, people uh, in the business, and I fall into that category every so often. Uh, with Opie also, you know, me and Jimmy are Opie's only way of getting over 200 people to watch a video. Watch any of Opie's videos. You might get 300 people have seen something, whatever it is. If he talks about me, Jimmy, Sam, the Owen A show, he knows he's going to get more heat. So he can't stop. So he does it. And then oh, we'll get into him a little later, but he does it. And then he, he'll say, uh, He'll say, ah, I'm just going to touch on this a little bit. You know, soon I'm not even going to mention this anymore. Really? What are you going to talk about? So uh, they all fall into one category, uh, robbing their, their listeners of money in exchange for utter and complete garbage. Utter and complete garbage. Uh, also what Stuttering John does these days, and, and he's threatened me with this, and I find it hilarious. My lawyer! I was on the phone with my lawyer today. I, if there's one person I feel more sorry for than John's ex-wife and John's fucking mental kids is... John's lawyer, <laughs> if he even has one, I don't even know. I don't know. This guy's a, uh, what I've seen over the years, the guy is just a liar. He just lies. Everything I've seen of John over the course of the years have been lies. He can't be honest with anyone. He lies about his career. He lies about money. He lies about friends and, and, and business and coworkers in the, in the entertainment business. Uh, so, he, you know, how, how do you know if he's ever telling the truth? So he, he spouts this nonsense and uh, it, it, it lawsuits. I sued Sharon Stone. Sharon, St Sharon, St Sharon Rock. So I go on the other day, I get on, and I said something to the effect of, uh, uh, John wants to sue me. You know, he threatens to sue me. You talk to my lawyer, you criminal. He won't mention me by name. So he calls me criminal. He calls me pock face. He calls me pedophile. He calls me whatever it is. All of, all of these things I have discussed at 
length on the, my show. Has Anthony gone out with uh, uh, younger girls? Sure. Were they uh, over the age of consent? Of course they were. <laughs> Every single one of them was over the age of, of, of legal consent. So, I, you know, I were pedophile. look up pedophile and, and see what the definition is. It's not someone that goes out with women that are of legal consenting age to have sexual intercourse. Sorry. Um, Pac phase. Yes, I've talked about my horrid childhood dealing with cystic acne. I had to uh, actually uh, cultivate a personality. Uh, it was terrible. I was growing up in a day that didn't really have the right medication for it. When I was in my 30s, I started taking Accutane, and it actually cleared up because uh, uh, I was still actually getting giant fucking poons on my face. But, you know, the damage gets done. We all live with our uh, crosses to bear and our scars and whatnot, and that's part of, you know, who I am. Uh, the The criminal part, I didn't talk about... The the Anthony Cumia, Danny Brand domestic dispute that went on at the house where I was arrested and then the rehab and the fucking court. And I, I talked about it ad nauseum. There is nothing that John is saying where it's like, ah, oh, look at this. Look at what he did. I fucking it's in a book. It's in a book I wrote. So if he's trying, if he thinks he's trying to get anywhere with that, uh, I don't know. I don't think you'll find another person who has talked more about those things than me, myself. I discuss everything uh, on the show, uh, on streams that I do, on in my book, it wherever it is. John, there's no secrets you're going to come up with that are going to foil me. But uh, so he gets his uh, lawyer. He won't talk about me uh, by name. He'll call me, you know, names and whatnot and criminal. And then he threatens me with his lawyer. Do we have any of the clips of him um, where he, he talks about me? Uh, whatever. It doesn't even matter what it is. Oh, sound. Thanks. Need some sound. If you want to donate to the show. That's right. To the show. What and happened? the super chats. That's, that's like so. Which uh, are, oh, okay, hold on. E Rock told me about this. Hold on. Yeah, uh, you guys clipped out where he actually plugs the, the site, his Patreon or his thing. Yeah. I, I, why would I give him any more money? Donated and asked me to give it to the person whose spouse is going through chemo. And that person, it's the greatest. Who I immediately uh, text and, you know, and I. So you sending the show. person a check. Well, actually, I, I Venmo it to another one of the chatters here, and then they, um, and they issue the check because I hate going right, post up. Right, so I just on. Venmo it to him. But see, there's a paper trail. Paper there's trail. Venmo. There's, there's a the toilet incoming paper trail PayPal. into your mouth, and then there's the paper shit trail. is pouring out of. You see that? You see that is why a certain criminal thinks it's okay to accuse me of stealing, and suddenly is now saying that I lost all my lawsuits. Well, let's see. Let's see the person who uh, assaulted a very young woman, way too young for him in my opinion. Oh, sorry. But he has a criminal record. Could you, could you pause but, for a second? Uh, what was Danny, 25, 26, something like that at the time? Whatever. Well, within, you know, your range. Uh, the day I, I start uh, asking myself, what would Stuttering John think about who I'm dating and, stu and who I'm going? This guy is literally going to Pickwick Pub, wherever the fuck that shithole is, and, and picking up grandmothers, grandmas. So whatever you want to do, John. You want to fuck a grandma or a 26-year-old, uh, you know. I'd probably opt for the 26-year-old, even if I have to eventually bite her. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, criminal, criminal. I've talked about that, too. Yes, when you get arrested, you are uh, up on criminal charges. And then your job as a citizen is to utilize all the, the laws and, and not be a criminal anymore. Uh, that's how it works out.
So this uh, uh, case uh, was brought down to a violation. I had a violation, which, by the way, is the same. It's not even a misdemeanor. It's the same as a ticket. It's it's a, t- a traffic ticket. So, no, I don't. Have, and it was expunged. I don't have a criminal record. I'm not a criminal, John. Uh, you can say what you want. And if you want to, if you think I'm just, you know, uh, uh, making excuses or anything, fine. I don't care if John says I'm a criminal. I just find it interesting that uh, you have to bring these things up when I'm saying you are grifting money from from people. <laughs> you are you are uh, the one. Uh, every every indication I've seen, Stuttering John has taken money from people for a cancer cause that is an apparition. It's just fucking a ghostly thing. It went into his own personal account, which he then was going to divvy up. How would you know what's for what? The guy advertises, uh, do, do, here, here's his case. There's a beloved cheddar, a beloved cheddar, whose beloved one, the beloved cheddar's beloved one, is getting chemo. They want to rena- remain autonomous, total autonomy. So I will not bring up their name, but I will send the money, but send it to my personal account. (laughs) Now we have brought up, of course, uh, who are these podcasts did a brilliant breakdown over hours of this whole thing. So if you want to really get catch up on the details of it, who are these podcasts? but any idiot can just look and see it, you can't do that. That is illegal. Uh, that, that is against terms of service for whatever he was using. You can't just say, like, I'll just come on here and go, oh, my God, leukemia is terrible. Childhood leukemia. Isn't that bad? Can you subscribe to Compound Media? And I'll make sure I take some of the sub money and, and I give it to uh, childhood leukemia. Don't worry, I'll do it. Oh, oh, I'm being a nice guy. I'm just trying to be a nice guy and you're accusing me? You're not allowed to do that, you big dope fuck. <laughs> but there he is, you know, talking about the criminal and how I'm accusing him of... of the, and I'm not even being subtle here. Yes. Yes, based on everything I know about Stuttering John, personally, having known Stuttering John over the course of the years... Having seen the way he acts with people, having seen what he said to people, the blatant lies that I've seen him tell, based on that, I will absolutely say that I believe he has been stealing money under the guise of of, uh, curing cancer. There, get your lawyer, John. Get your lawyer for another non-lawsuit. Sue me. Sue me. I won't show up in court. I won't answer it. I won't pay you. I won't do it. I'll move to South Carolina. You can try to chase me down there. Whatever you want to do, you blithering fool. Uh, Go ahead. This lawyer must be. Do you have pictures of him blowing men? I wouldn't take your call. I wouldn't take your call if I was a lawyer, a baker, a fucking. it, It doesn't matter. Tinker Taylor, soldier spy. It's John. Fuck this idiot. I'm not picking up the phone. I don't know how you get this guy on the phone. Again, I think that's a lie, too. I don't think you have all these conversations. I'm talking with this one and that one. I got this pulled. I got this pulled. You're an idiot. You're, you're, I think you're, I think you, you are, are, are in the classification of being a, <laughs> Look at him. Look at this fucking dummy. This drooling, fucking, inept, low IQ, horrible father douchebag. Yeah. Sue me, John. I swear, please. I I embrace the idea of someone coming here and serving me with papers from the likes of stuttering John Melendez. Where's my cease and desist? Cease it. Knock it off.
He's a fucking idiot. So he uh, he's been uh, talking about this uh, this chemo thing, and this is so hilarious. Uh, uh, Chatter has a loved one that needs chemotherapy for cancer. John told them, "I'll do something," and they go, "Hey, please keep it on the QT. I don't want uh, people to know who we are." And John goes, "Sure, I'll do that." So send it to my account. So he he gets upset if anyone even believes that he might be. Uh, misappropriating some of these funds. Uh, but he can't figure out why? Because you're an asshole. You've been an asshole your whole life. <laughs> and of course, you you do anything to get more money. You blew through every penny you made. Uh, you didn't make much on Howard Stern. We know you were making something in the realm of between thirty and 35000 a year. For, and you stayed there forever. You finally left, but you stayed there making shit money for what? Fame was more important than that. That being able to go out and someone go, hey, it's Stuttering John. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Fame was more important than that than 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 your family, than being there for your fucking family. Thirty five thousand a year, John. Maybe you should, you know, maybe move on, get something, get another job. Get the, yeah, I'm famous. I'm Stuttering John Melinda. So he loses his fucking family. And then, and then uh, uh, Jay Leno decided to fuck with Howard by stealing one of his guys. That's really what it was. If you think for a second Jay fucking Leno looked at Stuttering John and said, God damn, I need this guy on my show. The Tonight Show can't succeed without Stuttering John as the announcer. It was a goof for two minutes. And the people that realized it first was fucking Jay Leno and the whole of the people that worked over there. Yeah, that was funny. That, now what do we do? We got, we got saddled with this fucking idiot. There are uh, plenty of interviews with Jay Leno where Jay says, um, having a conversation on air on The Tonight Show with John was very awkward. It was just, it, there was no chemistry there. It was terrible. So a lot of times I throw it to Kevin Eubanks and we would bounce off each other and there was really nothing left for John to do. So they relegated him to a writer because he loves plugging that too. I was uh, the announcer and then a writer for the Tonight Show. You were announcer as a joke. Howard uh, uh, and Jay had a beef. Jay figured the best way to do it was to cough up some money, some of the corporate money, and steal you away from Howard to piss Howard off. And then when they realized you were so fucking bad, so fucking bad at the announcing job and doing street interviews without Howard and, and Jackie and Fred writing shit for you, they were like, what do we do? So they threw him in as a writer. He sat in a room with a bunch of other people to write shit for The Tonight Show, and they would just, you know... Ignore him. I'm not going to take any of his bits. Oh, yeah, okay, John. Yeah, yeah, great, great. And they would do other things. When Jay, uh, I, I, I heard when Jay found out that John didn't write any of the questions, he was pissed. But I think he knew that. He had to know that. I think it was purely a, a move to, to stick it to Howard and just using John as the buffoon, the fucking buffoon that he is. Put him on camera. He's goofy. People know him from Howard. Fuck it. And then in a short time, they were like, oh, this guy, he's, he's terrible. He's terrible. Get him off camera. Put him behind the scenes. And the first opportunity they got to uh, get rid of him, they did. But he uses that like a, like a plug. From the Tonight Show. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really? You want to use that as a plug? You were there as a joke. You are a joke. <laughs> Any more of that uh, clip? Yeah, let's let's play. Um, he's saying that I don't have a paper trail, and he's also saying that the person would be afraid to have the name mentioned if I was to sue. No, the person said it was okay if it came to that. So now this pock-faced criminal is continuing to accuse me of pocketing. Yeah. Money. Yeah. Now, first of all, anybody who knows me knows that my OCD would never allow me. To do something like that. All right, could you, could you follow? 
I love this. Again, I, I saw this on Who Are These Podcasts. I can't stress enough. And they did such a great job with it. And I was sitting there. This is when I decided I needed to talk about this because I was listening to Who Are These Podcasts. And I'm yelling at the fucking computer as I'm listening. Uh, I, I, I wanted to be involved so badly. His oh, Get what he just said. His OCD makes it impossible for him to commit a crime or lie or anything. My programming makes it impossible for me to harm a human being. Keep him away from me. <laughs> He's the fucking, uh, the robot. Was that Ash? No, not Ash, the other one. Who's the, the robot on the second um, alien? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I almost got it. Bishop? Bishop! Bishop! Hey, Bishop! Uh, yeah, Bishop. Oh, that those those models were a little glitchy. My programming makes it impossible for me to harm a human. Stay the fuck away from me. His OCD. So there's never been anyone with OCD that has committed a crime? And, and he says, anyone who knows me, anyone who knows you knows you're a liar and you are uh, fully capable of bilking people out of money. Totally capable. In the short time I had any kind of friendly relationship with Stuttering John, I had seen him take advantage of so many people financially. So many people. I've heard the stories. Oh, yeah, Stuttering John. You know, I met the guy. I thought he was, you know, it was cool. It was the guy from Howard Stern. He'd call up and go, hey, you want to, you know, you want to catch something, get something to eat, man? Yeah, yeah. You're fucking forking the money over at the end of the day. You're the one. He would never pull out a fucking dime, this guy. He came over to my house to play poker with his buddy, Mike, who now is my buddy. And and thinks Stuttering John is the ass. All he is because he is. And he's like, oh, Stuttering John, of course, you know, dead money. He just fucking, he, he's too stupid to play poker. Uh, he needed more money. So he made Mike drive him to Mike's ATM to take money out of Mike's account. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay, pay you back. Yeah, sure. Sure you will. He's He never has footed the bill for anything. We, we know the story here when he taped a show from here and uh, people had to come in, staff had to come in and uh, work his show and, and we gave him the airtime and, and the motherfucker didn't even tip, didn't even give the guys a few bucks for their time. And he drank every fucking bit of alcohol that was in our uh, fridge and then just walked out and got pissed when it was brought up, actually got belligerent at the fact that we, we would dare bring up that he's a cheap, chiseling motherfucker. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Anytime I hear that fucker on Who Are These Podcasts, I'm like, this would be a great character. I say it all the time. This character, Stuttering John, played by John Melendez. And you're like, John Melendez is a guy, but this Stuttering John babbling buffoon on your screen is a brilliant a brilliant take on an idiot doing a podcast and then john is like even he at night is like god i hate having to be this character people really think i'm it's all that except he's the guy and the other guy doesn't exist at all he is the guy it's not a character he is a buffoon <laughs> and there you know there it is for the world to see him lying about so many things and here's my take on uh, john's personal life here's my take on his personal life he has uh, an ex-wife uh three kids uh, two are adults. I believe one is 16, something like that. So we'll leave him alone. You know, he's just a kid. But he's, a, he's got adult kids, one of whom was uh, born a girl 
and decided to transition into a boy. Transgender. I don't know how he's done it, but he seemed to have uh, uh, scrubbed every picture of his uh, daughter become son off of the internet. Do we have? Well, that's the only one. That was when Stuttering John's daughter was a girl. Now his son is a boy. That that girl turned into a boy, and I I'll be damned if I can find one fucking picture of of he probably tries his best to keep that shit off of there. But uh, what a what a cute girl, kind of, you know. I guess that was the, the the high school dance thing or graduation where she and her girlfriend won like the queen of the. So that's what John, you know, did. Pop that picture back up again, because yeah, and, and and it was like groundbreaking because it was lesbians and they're. But then she decided she didn't want to be a lesbian; she wanted to be a dude. Um. And here's what I think. I think because Stuttering John was such a poor parent, such a a non-existent father for this lovely girl here, that she was screaming for some kind of attention, screaming for some type of attention, and just didn't get it. Her dad would rather be the goofy guy making 30000 a year at Howard Stern's show or being the joke on, on uh, Leno than to spend actual quality time with his fucking family. So the, the girl starved of fatherly love and attention goes, can you cut my tits off? Can you just cut my tits off and we'll try to fabricate some kind of a, a, a cock, a proxy cock, a, a cock's proxy proxy cock and i'll be a boy now and john then because john would say nigger and retard and everything back in the howard stern days he'd joke on on robin quivers for her race he had some song parodies that he did with nigger in it he'd say retard all the time this is who john is now when your daughter decides because she's attention starved because of her fucking uh, non-existent father's love to become a boy. Now you have to do something because I believe at some point in his life, he might start looking back and go, nah, maybe I maybe I screwed the pooch. So, so he becomes this insanely, unreasonably left-wing mental patient now remember same guy dropped n bombs constantly retard just a nasty long island piece of shit that's what he is we all fall into that category nasty long island piece of shit mostly you know conservative kind of you know angry but but then he's like how can i win my daughter's son's love he becomes one of the most irrational left-wing people you'll ever see. Biden's doing a great job! Is he? Is he really, John? Dotard! They're there for the Dotard, the GQP! He's got all of his little catchphrases, political... He honestly fancies himself a, a political pundit. He thinks that people tune in his show to see his take his smart take on politics. Who's on today? Some senator some, that you've done no research on. You don't even know their name. You don't know what they stand for. And not that you can't, like the, the, the material's out there. You're just not motivated and you're, you're stupid. You're an actual stupid person. Much like Opie, who I said I'd get to also. He's another just stupid. There are people, look, I'm sorry. I think the society we live in and the one that we've lived in for, for quite a few years now doesn't like to address the fact that some people are just stupid. And there is nothing you could do about it. There's no drug. There's no course. There's no practice. No workout. There's nothing that can change stupid. And some people are stupid. And John is one of them. And Opie's one of them. Owen might not be stupid. I think he's very clever, but he's another grifter. And we'll get to that uh, also. Stuttering John, um, right before I went on the air, uh, tweeted, 
He tweeted trying to. Uh, he took a picture that I had, which I, I put a little a little comic strip bubble of his daughter and him in that picture. And I said, uh, I don't know, something about his love, and I got to mutilate myself. <laughs> and John got very angry at that, very angry. And, uh, of course, he included Twitter support and glad. Here it is. Dear glad, bullies out, rain, and Twitter support. This person is bullying and harassing me and my transgender child on social media. His name is Anthony Kubia, criminal and pock. This is one of his tweets where he is engaging in this despicable, hateful behavior. You're despicable. I hear it's rabbit season. Duck season. Rabbit season. Despicable. Uh, so he, he, he knew. He knew this was coming. A lot of people, I think, knew today I was going to go on and just lambast this fucking retard for what he is. And the worst part for John is, where are you going? Where are you going? Wait, wait, you going to call Iraq? You going to get Iraq to tell me to be quiet? You could call maybe, uh, maybe Garrett and Drew. You could offer them some money and they'll just hit the off switch. And that'll be it. Where are you going, John? Glad? What is Glad going to do? I would gladly have Glad protest outside this fucking place. I'd walk in calling them fucking as I come up and do my show. Do you understand, John, that some of us don't give a fuck anymore? That we've already been backed into a corner and, and, and built up something that, that we needed to have to continue speaking our minds and calling out motherfucking pieces of shit like you. Do you understand? Oh, what? Twitter? Twitter support? What, are they going to cancel my account? Oh, well, I just made it to 10,000 followers. I assumed I'm getting canceled soon. That's usually the schedule. There'll be another boss. <laughs> Slowly we'll get up to the mountain. I'll still talk to people. Whatever it is. So who the fuck are you calling, John? Your lawyer? You're going to sue me? Like I said, sue away. Fucking come up, serve me with papers. You will never see me in a courtroom. I will not entertain your, your lawsuit. I won't pay you. You could try to fucking get more lawyers to try to pay me. Whatever you need to do. But John, you, 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 what are you doing? How do you think you're stopping me? His little attempt at scaring me on, on social media today because he knew I was going to talk about him. And his fucking, uh, uh, his poor, I feel bad for his family. I feel bad. I feel bad. Look, I know. I was raised in a family where my dad, not the best provider. But he was a good guy to us, to us kids, uh, you know, loving. He was able to, to listen to us, gave me some good advice over the years. I spent time in California with him, riding horses and doing man things and stuff. This guy's one of those weekend warrior maybe dads. They get divorced and they just fucking, the reason they're divorced, by the way, is that they were just ignoring their family. And then they continue to ignore them, but they're, they, they talk like they are such supportive uh, uh, pillars in, in, in their families. Dude, you forget, we heard it all. Contrary to many people's, not, maybe not beliefs, but opinions, you are a public figure. <laughs> You did build up an element of fame. You're in that category where people are allowed to talk about you and your personal life. Yes, they are. And we saw it happening, John. We saw it happening on the Howard Stern show. Howard would call out what a piece of shit you were. Hero of the stupid. Hero, hero of the stupid. You've been a babbling buffoon your entire career, and you haven't stopped. And the only thing it did was uh, lose your family, lose whatever money you might have made during uh, the height of your, your career, and now you're begging for money from uh, uh, some 
very, very shady cancer charity. Did you hear what he said before? He goes, uh, he collected the money and then he'd write a check. Oh, no, no. He would Venmo. That was it. He Venmoed the money to another party. This is literally now the fourth party. There's the person with the cancer. There's the beloved chatter. Then there's the person he Venmoed the money to that then wrote a check to the beloved chatter. Because he didn't like to go to the post office is what he said. Yeah, his picture should be hanging up there. You old fucking crock of shit. So, yeah, how many to send, by the way, one hundred dollars over to chemo. Just, what's what's a hundred? That, that's like when you go into the gas station, you go, give me a dollar regular. <laughs> there you go. There's your buck. There's some doctor sitting there kinking the little hose, kinking the little plastic chemo hose going into the, the, the person's arm. And it's like, what is that? Stuttering John's hundred bucks. All right. There we go. Okay. Uh, any more money? Any, I'm sorry. You got to go. There's no more money. Stuttering John, a hundred bucks for chemo. <laughs> I just don't know how that shit even, how he thinks that shit is even legit. How the fuck does this idiot think anyone, but another idiot like himself is, is going to believe that. Why did it have to go through so many channels, John? Why did you have to go through Venmo to some other third party? Not a, you couldn't have just Venmo the, the beloved chatter. And he could have given it to the loved one or put it in his account or whatever. You had a Venmo to someone else that then literally had to write a fucking paper check and send it to the beloved chatter for his beloved chemo patient. This is like. It's like watching fucking Scarface with the money counting and where it's going. And this sounds like money laundering, John. It sounds like money laundering. And if you're laundering $100, Jesus Christ, the guy don't launder his underwear. There are fucking roaches in it. Yet he's, he's laundering $100. You are such a piece of shit. If you really had any fucking morality or empathy, or sympathy, or any pathy, <laughs> wanting to help someone, here's what you would have done. Out of your own money that you profess to have plenty of, you would have sent them a donation. Never mentioning it on your show. Never even mentioning it. Hey, what happened? Ah, oh, my fuck, dude, my wife, or hey, my husband, whatever it is has chemo, uh, is getting chemo. It's so expensive. We don't have insurance, whatever. Oh, dude, that sucks. All right. You got a Venmo? No, dude, you don't have to. Fuck you. Give me the Venmo. I just want to help. And then you send it over and then you go on and do your show and you never mention it. That's what a person that cares about people does. They don't put it out on their show trying to fucking get publicity or, 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 or money, if that was indeed what you were doing, bilking people because there wasn't a chemo person. It wasn't a beloved chatter. There wasn't a third party Venmo person. There are no paper checks. I don't know. Based on your past performance, though, I certainly believe you're a lying crock of shit, John. I believe you absolutely took that money and it never went to anybody else. Sorry, it's based on past performance. Past performance can be indicative of future results. And uh, from what I've seen of Stut Joe over the course of the years, he is a liar and a piece of shit and would absolutely, COD or not, <laughs> COD. <laughs> I have COD cash on demand. Uh, any more, uh, Stuttering John? Gotta say, I love this. I love this. Cause I've had it with this fuck. I don't steal. I just, I can't. I can't bring myself. I don't even take free stuff at hotels. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> just leave his face there, please. Just leave that stupid fucking face there. 
His OCD prevents him from stealing at all. I can't. He's literally incapable of stealing because he has OCD. And if I may throw this in, I don't even take the free stuff in hotel. I don't take anything. I don't even use it. Soap, shampoo, never saw it, never used it. Laundry, never did it. <laughs> Raises, what is that? This motherfucker, he doesn't take things from hotels. <laughs> Everyone takes something from, whether it's the soap or, you know, shampoo. You use it. It's part of, you know, what are you talking, towels? <laughs> you have to shower to need a towel. I don't think he's ever showered either, so. What kind of excuse is OCD and then your example of how you can't steal from OCD is that you've never even taken anything from a hotel? <laughs> it's brilliant. It, like I said, a character, a character, David Brent, like, like it's, it's, it's fucking David Brent from The Office. That's what it is. A brilliantly moronic, out of touch character that Ricky Gervais plays, but Ricky is a smart, really funny guy. But he's able to play David Brent as a... He's just the part. But it would be brilliant if it, this wasn't John. If this, was, if this was stuttering John the character and John Melendez was, you know, like, ah, yeah, I don't want to be typecast as that guy, so I won't be an asshole when I'm at Pickwick Pub. But then he takes the character. He lives his act. The man lives his entire fucking act. That's how he gets away with it. Prestige? Let, let me hear a little more. Because my conscience just wouldn't be able to handle that. That's just me. It's always has been. And that's why I don't steal stuff. Yeah. So I would never steal anything. And as far as this person saw oh, John's many losses and lawsuits, well, Pac face, the only, let's see, I sued Sharon Stone. She settled for $30,000. 30000 That was a win for me. Uh-huh. I'm suing Sirius XM. And the first round, yes, we did in fact lose. <laughs> but then <laughs> we appealed. Mother. It's so good. It's so good. All right. You said I lost all my lawsuits. Sharon Stone. <laughs> I'm sure Sharon Stone was really nervous trying to scrape up 30 large. And then how much did the lawyer get? And by the way, wasn't that during his uh, Howard Stern tenure? What was pop up the, the stuttering John. Sharon Stone, big fucking lawsuit. So he mentions one thing, and then he's like, well, uh, Series XM. All right, we lost that one. We lost this one. We lost that. He's constantly threatening lawsuits, and he got 30 grand from Sharon Stone uh, years ago. Does her bodyguard beat him up? Yeah, it was during a, one of the Stern things, right? I guess so. I'm trying to. It, 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 so you think you think John actually put up the money for his legal defense or offense as far as being um, uh, bringing up a case against Sharon Stone? Do you think maybe uh, K Rock paid for it, or 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 uh, uh, Tonight Show if that was during the time that he was on the Tonight Show? Whatever it was, why Sharon Stone's bodyguard hit Stuttering John? It wasn't just Stuttering John doing his podcast. He had the backing of a company. And I'm sure they're the ones that foot the bill and the lawyers got money and that. And what did Stuttering John? What? I'm talking Stuttering John this century. In this century, have you filed a suit? When was these? Uh, 96. 96. So he was firmly entrenched in the Howard Stern show. John, all right, okay, look, I'm willing, I am willing to point out when I'm wrong, when I'm wrong. John, you did indeed win a lawsuit. Allow me to rephrase. 
John has never won a lawsuit in this century. <laughs> okay? Is that better? Within this century, which we are just about a quarter of the way through, this century, you've never won a lawsuit. You threaten to sue. It's this fucking, it's so childish. It reminds me of when you'd stand on the curb at a, a, in the neighborhood of a, a person's house that you didn't like that week. Could be a friend the next week. It's not a friend. And you stand on the curb and they go, get off my property. And then the person goes, ah, no, it's government's property. The curb's government property. You're on my property. Government property. Government. That's John suing. That's how John's lawsuits are. In this century. I'm not talking about the big Sharon Stone 30 large. Oh, she must have been shitting herself for that. I got a hand over stuff. I guarantee you she never even heard about that. You could ask her and she will never, she'd be like, who, what, who? I don't, I don't know. My bodyguard? Yeah, there was probably insurance. The bodyguard for me, whether it was even her bodyguard or a, a, a hired service for that night or that day, the company has insurance. So when they're sued, all they do is go, well, uh, we'll settle. The insurance company will pay 30000 All right, pay 30000 See if they'll take it. Yeah, they'll take it. I shoot suit Sharon Stone. She never fucking heard of this. Never heard of it. Holy shit. He just fucking... You sued an insurance company for a security company. And they gave you 30000 to go away. Again, he's just so full of shit. I would like to act as my own uh, attorney. I call to the stand, Sharon Stone, cross your legs. Cross your legs and uncross them. The 30,000 sounds like their lowball bid where they were like, oh, he'll definitely say 100 grand. Yes. But he was like, 30 grand? Fuck yes. It's like, <laughs> I'll take it. Yes, it's like in a comedy. <laughs> They're going, all right, we're willing to pay $100,000 for John. We just got to get rid of it. And I demand $30,000. They're like, you got it. <laughs> like Kramer just wanted to be up on the Barbaro ad or get, get a bunch of cafe lattes for the hot coffee that spilled in his lap. <laughs> That's who John is. <laughs> Again, a brilliant fake character that isn't fake. He's an actual that you could watch. You could watch his show. These are the best plugs, by the way. We give John so many plugs for his show, whether it's who are these podcasts with Carl or, or, or this show or anyone else that looks at John and goes, holy fuck, is he but again, it has to be filtered through something like this or who are these podcasts? Because uh, he is just, he's the worst. I love that one. Sharon Stone. Uh, Sharon, where were you on the evening of uh, ex post facto and a uh, habeas corpuscle? <laughs> Stuttering John. I took Sharon Stone for 30 grand. 50% goes to the lawyer. That's 15,000. Then other inconsequential fees. and The guy walked away with like nothing. An appearance. It was like when he used to do an appearance at the Hard Rock or something. Holy shit. Oh, is he stupid? Uh, please, please. I can't get then enough. We appealed and we held oral arguments, and now we'll see what happens. But it's not a loss yet. Yeah, it is. You so lost. So why don't you keep your gun in a safe place so you don't be caught on video screaming, where the fuck is my gun? <laughs> and Come on. try not to bite, you know, or do whatever you did that got you arrested. I don't know. And, you know, that I don't know. Again, I was watching. He's so afraid. Like, he's so litigious everything he thinks of doing is lawsuit and, and and i'm gonna sue you so he thinks he's being careful here by not saying my name and going you know you bit or whatever you did i don't know like he's trying to keep this plausible deniability john say what you want i'm not gonna sue you i'm not an idiot like you that's gonna i'm going to court i've got say my name 
Call me an asshole. Call me a criminal. Call me a liar. Call me fucking whatever you want. I will never sue you. Do whatever you want. I'm fine with it. I understand that if you talk, then I'll talk. I'll just make you look like the jerk off you are. But uh, he's 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 on eggshells here. He's like, oh, that guy, I don't know. I don't know what he did. Well, Danny Brand and uh, myself were having an argument. She smacked me upside the head and, and uh, uh, cocked back again. And I grabbed her, her hand, her wrist. And I went, ah, fucking don't touch me. That was it. There you go. That's how I bit a girl's hand. Got it? I've said that many times on this show. Many times. So if you don't know, you're just not doing your research. The other day, and he was saying that, I don't know, this is just him saying, it's of course not me say, saying say. that. Just him. Say it. That, you know, that you were a racist. And that that's not me. You know, that's what Opie says. Do you know, could you pause that. again? And he's so stupid. He doesn't even know what constitutes something that might be uh, something I could sue him for. You could call people racist. You go. Stuttering John is a racist. I'm saying it. I'm not alleging it. I'm not. Stuttering John is a racist. There. I said it. Why, why is this guy like peeking around corners and tiptoeing? Just say it. I don't know. Opie said it. Said he's a racist. I'm not saying this. I'm saying you're a racist, John. You're a proven fucking racist. There. You said in one of your songs, you're a racist. You're a racist. There, that's how it's done, stupid. The great Patrice O'Neill knew that you were a racist. That's what That's what Opie was saying. It's on the video. All uh, right, you can pause again. We'll get to that Opie video. I think we have it at some point later, a little bit later. Uh, anyone, I, I, I laugh at all this all the time because I get a lot of... Uh, social media posts to me that go, Patrice would be embarrassed of you. Patrice would be so pissed. Patrice wouldn't have talked to you. Patrice would... Anyone that thinks they would know what Patrice was going to say or think about any topic is, you're way out of your league. You, no one could figure out what where that guy was going. He was all over the place. Uh, he was such a unique mind that to think you were going to figure out you know, you, I'm five steps ahead of Patrice. Shut the fuck up. And for anyone to question or, or, or try to assume what type of relationship me and Patrice had on and off the air, I know. And that's all, you know, my, my friends and family know because they were around when Patrice was around at my house or at, at uh, the studio and places like that. I know. We had a very cool, fun, funny, sometimes adversarial relationship, uh, race-based, uh, with a lot of the arguments that we had. But we had so much in common. We knew, like, what we found funny was um, we we both found the same shit funny. And, and and you know, Opie even like that's Opie's way of getting me. Patrice said he was a what? Patrice hated. <laughs> Hated Opie. Opie made him sit out in the waiting room while no one was inside. Uh, it, it, it really... Yeah. Anyway, I'm not suing you, John. You could call me a racist. People knew that you were a racist. That's what, that's what Opie was saying. It's on the video. That's what Put he was saying. Down. I, I can smell I, it I from know here. true. You filthy that's what he fuck. Was so... I, I would, you know, I would stop these false accusations of me oh. saying that I'm somehow stealing cash from someone whose spouse is going through chemo. How okay. Do I, know? I would maybe not. I would. Oh. You should really consult your attorney. It might not be a smart thing to accuse somebody I, of I, things when I have a paper trail. This person could you, has. Could you pause again? It, this is this, this is so good. First of all, it's the paperwork. Like I have paperwork that says the paper trail is a whole different thing. A paper trail is like, like all the documentation that leads from one thing to another, and and it, it can involve other people. And so it, he's using paper trail wrong. I have the documentation. I have paper trail in and of itself sounds a little nefarious. 
Like paper trail is always used on something bad. Like, oh yeah, oh they left a paper trail. It's gonna be easy to fucking pick them up. I have a paper trail. <laughs> a paper trail. So uh yeah, and I I I you know, John, if if I was insinuating anything, I'm sorry. I want to make it definite. I believe you are a thief. I don't want any anything to get in the way where you don't think that I I honestly believe from everything I've seen that you are a fucking criminal thief that has stolen money. <laughs> there. Now, you know, during your lawsuit, make sure you come up with all the discovery, you know, the paper trail, the names of the people involved, where the money went, how much money it was, the assessment and accounting of what was yours in your account and what went to them and how that was determined. And so all that shit. By the way, that's just for you because, I, like I said, I won't show up. I just won't be there. Sue me for anything. Sue me for anything. Stuttering John has eight toes on each foot. There. There. Sue me. Sue me. He absolutely has eight toes on each foot. Go ahead. Uh, the, the, the toe litigation. I am on the toe litigation right here. Either that or he's like, how does he know? No more. Trail. And the other person also has the paper trail who is also in this chat. That being said, Ipso I've facto. already talked to the person who I sent the mini the iPad to. The beloved I, Oh, the mini iPad. And oh, I pause, 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 pause. This is another great thing. Oh, my God. He's so stupid. I hate him. Uh, the mini iPad. You might have heard him just bring up the mini iPad. He did a whole thing on this where he said, uh, he helps people, you know, and he can't believe that he's being called out as a crook when he helps people. And he goes, you know, this guy, the beloved chatter, needed an iPad. And I, out of my own money, I sent him a mini iPad. Why, why say it? Why say it? There's no reason to bring up your charitable fucking contributions a unless you're trying to cover for something uh underhanded i sent him a mini ipad out of my own money that's crazy the first payment then i will send the next one out on the first even though i don't get paid from uh youtube to the 21st but i'll still do it anyway so this person could have could have the money and could put it towards what they need all right, but, hold, on, um, hold on. This is great too. He's implying here that he's got he's got to send the chemo money. He's going to send it on the first or so, even though he doesn't get the money from YouTube, the money that you know he's he's been soliciting for the chemo until almost a month later. But he's still going to do it because you know the people. Like I swear, are they sitting there? Are they sitting there? with the tube waiting for John's money to turn the chemo on? No, you go through these treatments. They bill you if you don't have insurance. They'll give you the treatments. That's just it. <laughs> and then they'll bill you and you then have to come up with the money or you gotta file for bankruptcy or you gotta do something. Or you gotta take stuttering John's money. Does he even know how anything works in the healthcare system? Does he even fucking know? Holy mother of Christ on a pony. He's so dumb. So he's going to send the money right away so they could get that drip started and uh, the person doesn't die. He's saving lives. <laughs> yeah, there's a paper trail, dummy. And this person wouldn't mind me trail. saying this person's name if I choose to sue. Now, I don't know how much money you have left on that failed channel of yours. So, you know, I don't even know if it's worth suing you. <laughs> could you, could you, well, <laughs> doesn't he at least think I have more than $35,000 of Sharon Stone money? Like he sued Sharon Stone and was fine with $35,000. You must assume, John, come on, that I have a little more than $35,000. I literally won that at the Borgata last time. I won twice that at the Borgata. <laughs> So, you know, if I have to pay you in $5,000 Borgata strapped stacks, I could do that if it's $35,000. I got you. But 
Uh, Sue, I don't know how much money you got left with that failed over eight years company. Over eight years in M- M- Manhattan. Doing a podcast. Doing comedy shows. Holy shit. How long do you have to do something before these trolls or whatever you want to call them have to go, I guess we can't really use that anymore. Fuck. Eight, over eight years. It was eight years a month ago. Eight years we've been doing this. Seven from Manhattan. (laughs) I don't know if you even have anything left. Coming from Stuttering John. I'd be worth suing, John. Please. I'm waiting for a process server to come through that door and hand me the Stuttering John Melendez lawsuit paperwork. Please, I'm begging you. I want to read it on the air. I want to laugh at it. I want to post it all over the place. And I never want to show up or acknowledge that it even exists because you're a fucking. (laughs) What a dope. Oh, more. More. We'll see what happens. But I just shut your fucking mouth is what I'm saying. Ooh. Yeah. I would just shut your fucking mouth. Ooh. Okay. Just a little advice, you pock face prick. Now let's get on with the show. Sorry about that little uh, uh, rant, but it was, of course, I don't like people slandering me. And, he thinks and things are slander that aren't my- slander. They, he thinks things are slander, and, and they're not really slander. It's just he's a public figure. He's doing things. And people are talking about it and calling it out and, you know, uh, whatever. You want slander? I saw Stuttering John fucking a homeless guy in the mouth. Outside, right outside there. That's slanderous. Get it? Do you get the difference? When I say I believe Stuttering John steals money with a bogus cancer charity, that's not really slander because you kind of got to show that you're not. And I believe you are. I honestly uh, believe Stuttering John is a fucking thief and he's stealing money from uh, his listeners under the guise that it is a cancer charity. Set up illegally anyway, but anyway. Anything else? Character. Because I don't, I would never steal from a charity like the Trump kids did. Yeah, you know that. that Go, Todd! You know, that president that you so support, you pock-faced animal? Yeah, that president. Yeah, yeah. How many people did he stiff? What? How many bankruptcies did he declare? So? Yeah, that's the one you worship. And then you attack a good guy trying to do something good good for a person in need. You fucking animal. All right. All right. Do you know what is uh, very, very interesting about when he talks about Trump like that? He's so dumb and so broke. Like, I feel bad for him. He's not in the game at all. And I'm not talking about being some wealthy person. I mean, anyone that is of his age that has to look at the future petrified that they have nothing. They have nothing in the game. So he doesn't even understand how much better Trump was for him than than Biden is. Stock market today, down another fucking uh, uh, three digits. It's so fucked up that this idiot doesn't understand that the four years Trump was in office, if you had any skin in the game whatsoever, you'd have appreciated his tenure. And you'd have gone, wow. I'm a guy that needs money so I don't have to steal from a fucking cancer, bogus cancer charity. Uh, But I wouldn't have to do that if Trump was still in office because I'd have my money invested in something sound and it would be making gains. We'd be making 20% a year. And this idiot is so dumb and so brainwashed and, and, and has to say these things to try to win back his liberal daughter son's love that he just can't fucking fathom. That Donald Trump was way better to the basic American working man than 
pretty much any president, arguably, and absolutely better than Biden's been. We're losing money, hand over fist. And this dummy just can't understand it. Donald Trump's kids! Donald Trump bankruptcies! Yeah, when you have a fuckload of businesses over the course of the years, some are going to be extremely successful, and others will go to the wayside. It's called taking chances. It's called betting on yourself. You know? It's called being in the game. John, you only have failures. <laughs> Trump has had his bankruptcies, which you could consider failures in a business, but they're offset by a, a, an amazingly successful life. What do you have, John? What the fuck do you have? A family who cannot fucking stand you. A, a, a co career that I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is. Did you quit stand-up comedy because some people gave you a little bit of shit? Is that why you quit stand-up? Or no one was laughing? You couldn't book a gig? The club owner would would hear your name and go, oh, Stuttering John, and book you. And then when it got close to showtime, go, ah, yeah, we sold no tickets. So I'm quitting the game because it trolls. <laughs> Fuck your mother. Fuck her, too. Our friend uh, Shuli does a Stuttering John show, too, called the Uncle Rico Show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he lives in the past all the time. Ah, yeah, because yeah, he lives. <laughs> glory days. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's the glory days syndrome. Uncle Rico. <laughs> oh, Shuli, so good, man. Uh, yeah, he asked me to do that with him. I'll definitely yeah. fucking do that. Uncle Rico. You know, if I had a time machine. To get the crystal, I could go back and show everyone how awesome I was. Knowing what I know today, oh God. <laughs> Fucking John.